Today we have a customer that requested a single phase 2i service, 600 amps. These are the um, tools needed to complete this job. Just some small snips to cut the um, tire wraps. A hammer to hammer the hard heads in. Squeeze tool for the terminals. A spindle wrench, 3 8 size. A, um, lime and pliers. Ratchet set for the GCB. Screwdriver to change the wiring. Um, strippers just to strip the wire. Some cable cutters. And a bolt meter. Um, this is the equipment needed for that single phase 2 hour service. We need a six terminal meter can, a current transformer, and then we need the meter cable, the two brackets to mount the can, we need a hard heads to mount the can, a piercing connector to get the voltage down the pole to the test switch, the connectors that go on the test switch, some hard heads for the cable straps, a GCB9, which fits on the top of the can. And that's all we need for the job. Now we, I'm gonna put it together. Um, we're gonna have to rechange some wiring on this six terminal meter can to accommodate that form three meter. And I'm gonna take y'all through it and show you how to do it. This is a diagram of a form three meter. And it's here it shows the current coil on the left hand side and the potential coil on the right hand side of the meter. If you looked at the meter diagram earlier, you would see that I have one potential coil and one current coil is all I need. And in that form 3S, you look at the wiring, it does not match this that comes from the factory as a form 4S. So I'm gonna remove the things I don't need and we're gonna go ahead and correct it and wire it for that form 3S meter. So what I need to remove is, I need to remove this current. Don't need that one. I don't, I don't need the in and out currents. I do not need the potentials for the form 2S meter there. I just need one potential. So we have one current coil and I need that one. And this potential, if you look according to the diagram in the 3S, it is on this top right lug. That's where it needs to be, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. And the only thing I'm lacking is two more wires. I need a common or ground wire to go to this lug, because this is the other side of the potential coil, which is the ground. And then, so now I have this part wired correctly. I have one potential coil on the 20 volts of ground, and I have a current in, current out. The only thing I have to change on the bottom of the test switch is I can go ahead and remove this jumper because I don't need that other current. But I do need this one out current here, and I need to put a ground here. What we're going to do is up on the pole, we're going to hang the CTs. The CTs are going to be right here. And then we're going to hang the This is kind of a mock installation to give you all a picture of what's going on. Okay, so the CTs are going to be mounted on the pole like this. You're going to have the servicemen. You're going to give them 30 feet of cable, and it's going to be stripped, and he's going to mount it right on the side of here where we can wire this, the CT. So I'm going to show you all next how to wire it. Okay, I just handed the servicemen the CTs and the cable, and he mounted it on the pole. Now we're going to go ahead and tell them how to wire the um, current transformer and the taps on it. So. Every CT has markings on it that show polarity. You have an H1, which is right here, and an X1 for the secondary. H1 is primary, that's here and here, and secondary is here. So, okay, so we know that this is coming from the transformer and the direction is this way going through the CT. So if we know that, and the dot is on this side, whatever side it comes out on, over here, that's the color we're going to put the white wire on here. So we know it's coming out on no dot because the dot is here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to wire the current to no dot on the secondary. Okay, so now we, we have it wired here to the secondary. 
And then we're gonna take this white wire and go to ground right here with a kearney, okay? Now, we still have to wire up the current. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna go ahead and measure it to the ear, because this is now the primary needs to go to X1, the color. So this is my black end. So we're gonna go ahead and strip it. I like to fold it over. I get a good connection in there all the time. You see how I folded it over? Open this up. So now we have the secondary current cable wired, which completes the circuit coming down the meter can and out this secondary. Okay? He's wired correctly with the polarity correct and the direction is correct. I'm gonna go ahead and unshort the CTs and then put the cap on. The cap will not fat fit on here if the CTs are shorted. So it'll snap on now with the CTs. Okay, the next thing we have, we have our currents wired. So now we gotta hook up our potential. And hook our potential up, we wanna go to the high side or the end coming from the transformer and hook up our potential. So now we're gonna hook the piercing connector to the pole. And so what we'll do is we'll take off one of these We'll take this and slide it, and you gotta go, you see that little cap? You gotta go into the cap. And now it holds it where, it, where now it'll pierce this wire. And at the same time, we pierce this wire. So when I connect this here, the jaws are gonna come out and pierce this secondary wire. And so this will complete the circuit going down to my meter can. So I'm gonna have voltage going down to the meter can I have my currents going down to the meter can. Right now we have to install a meter can on the on the pole and I'm mounting the brackets right now on here. The brackets come with screws that you use to mount the bracket. And I already mounted this one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you as I mount this one here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it this one. I'm gonna put a washer. And a nut. Okay, so now I have the brackets on here. Now I gotta mount it to the pole. So I need my hammer and a hard head. I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right here. This is kind of a mock installation, so I'm not hammering it all the way in. We'll go ahead and put the GCB on. And then we'll go ahead and unscrew this. I'm gonna slide my cable through the top of it. Put the pole. Slide this through the can. I got my cable down into my can. Now I'm a wire to my test switch. Come on behind me, Ben, and I'll show you. I only have three wires. I need a wire. White's gonna go here. Black's gonna go here. Orange is gonna go here. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip them and land them. This is my potential coil that I'm landing right here. That's gonna be the voltage coming down the pole from that piercing connector. It's the common wire coming down from the pole that's grounded on the top up there. I'm gonna go land it here on the out of the current. And then I have one more wire left and that's the end current. Lands here. 
and then put that together and that installation is complete as far as everything I did in the meter. Okay, I'm complete. Finished wiring the um, two wire meters that came down the pole for the meter equipment. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a ground on it. All these cans need to be grounded. This is a safety thing. If something ever backs into this can and, and these voltages go to can, I wanna have a ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and here's my grounding wire. Now my can is going to be grounded. You see how I go right here? I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'll put me a little um, split bolt. And I'll go ahead and tighten that up. And now my can is grounded. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open my test switches. And then I'm going to let the line crew go ahead and heat this service up. I'm gonna check my voltage just to make sure I got 120 volts here. I'm gonna plug my meter in. I know this is all wired correctly because I previously did it. Let's go ahead and, and close my potential and close my current. And we're done. So the current transfer was on a pole, the cables down the pole, the, the test switch is wired and hooked up, and now we're gonna check voltages. So remember I told you we had one potential coil and one current coil. If you look at the test switch, that's all it's wired. I'm not going to close the current in. I'm going to close the potential in and make a check. We can see that the current comes, the black goes in and the black comes out. So now we're going to go ahead and check the voltage. I can close this and make a voltage check. And so this is going to be the only thing from here to here. I have voltage. You see my voltage? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's my potential coil. So now it's wired correctly. We're gonna go ahead and install the meter. So all my test switches are open. Go ahead and install the meter. And then we're gonna go ahead and you can look at the display. We're gonna put the current in and the voltage in and We'll go ahead and see the meter light up. And at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and check and see if there's any current on this location, just to verify it. We have 0.9 amps right now on the only current that's going through the meter. And the meter has voltage, 120 volts to it, so test switches are all in.